So we're taking the two inch bung from the barrels and drilling a three quarter inch hole. And then we're gonna tap in a uh, piece of PVC into this for our downspout. Uh, since they don't make a PVC with coarse threads, we're having to modify this a little bit. And I'll show you how to do that in a bit. So we found the approximate center of the bung and we're using a 3 8 inch drill bit to start the hole. You hit it. So we're using a 3 quarter inch stub wrench used for sprinklers to ream out the hole larger and then we're going to use another tool to put threads in our hole. Now we're using a three quarter inch tap to create a hole for our PVC that we're gonna thread into this. So the three quarter inch tap tool opened up enough of a hole to get this three quarter inch connector, which will use some tape on it to seal it. So we chose to set up a little area that we made out of treated two by fours with uh, crushed gravel with two layers of cinder blocks just to have height for the pressure that will be needed to get the water out to the garden. So we did put plumber's tape around all four of the bungs to create a good seal. So we went ahead and sealed both sides of our connector with tape, which will be then inserted down into the pre-drilled hole that we made earlier. And then we'll uh, tie it in with a, a 90 degree threaded end and a 90 degree smooth end that we'll bring our pipe out with. So now that we, now that we have our connectors installed we're going to reposition our barrels. From our elbow connection we made standard lengths that come off that of five inches we glued it together with plumber's glue the blue hot glue stuff on all four and then we're going to tie in or glue on a ball valve or an onion valve to help shut off each section if needed. Okay, next we're going to dry fit our pieces so we can make the four connections between the tubes. And then we're going to bring out to the side a piece we're going to cap just in case we want to add on later. Okay, now we have all these glued into place with our ball valves. Now we're going to glue, glue on a hose connector out front and then a potential connector for other barrels in the future to the right. Okay, now we've got our connection for a future set of barrels. A ball valve for the main water source and then a spigot connector for a hose. And then the four barrels. Next, we're gonna cut a hole in this last barrel for the downspout from the roof. So we just used a skill saw to cut out a opening the same size that'll fit our downspout that we're going to tie in up at top of the gutter just like that okay so we've gone ahead and screwed in and secured the downspout that we've inserted into the barrel here within the next week or so we'll get another piece of mesh that we'll tuck down into this hole 
to catch the fine particulates and keep bugs out of our water. And then also we're going to insert this grate that goes up inside of the gutter that keeps the uh, larger particulates out. Okay, this is after we put the large grate in that will catch all those large particulates and prevent them from going down into our water source. And that's where we'll put the fine mesh later on. So we've take some, taken some self-tapping screws and put in six screws to tie in this window screen mesh that we got from Ace Hardware, which will hold all this into place so bugs and smaller debris won't get into our tank. So this is what it looks like after we've cut it all back. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with all the, the vent holes that we put on the other three barrels. As described earlier, we're gonna put a little piece of mesh over that and then screw it in as well. So this is what it looks like after we covered up the vent holes with two screws and some mesh on each one of them to help prevent bugs from getting in or at least discouraging them. And then our final product over on the main spout area. Okay, so now we're putting in our overflow drain and we use a 3 8 inch drill bit to open and widen the hole and then we're using our sprinkler uh, tool. tool to widen this hole so we can put in uh, the downspout. We're using our three quarter inch pipe tap to widen our hole to create some threads for our drain and overflow pipe assembly that we bought from Ace Hardware. But you can do this a number of different ways, you just have to figure out how you want to do it. So we just installed the, the drain and overflow pipe kit and it was a has a standard drain bushing with a three quarter inch mill garden hose thread and a one half inch female pipe thread. And we bought this from Ace Hardware and it was pretty easy to install. So it has a half inch smooth PVC end that we're gonna, an elbow that's threaded here and then smooth here that we're gonna cut out a piece of PVC, glue into place and that will be our overflow drain. So we went ahead and glued in this half inch drain pipe that comes down past the barrels down to the ground. So now we're just filling up the system to see if we have any leaks. So far so good, cross our fingers. Okay, so we started to fill up this first barrel and this is a fairly important concept and maybe obvious to some people, but this, these other f three barrels will not fill unless there's a vent hole put in each barrel. Otherwise the water will not equalize. So watch what happens when we drill a little hole in here, you can hear the air gush out. You can hear it just coming out and you can feel it coming out. And we're gonna put one in this last barrel as well. And then you, these should, these little vent holes should allow the water to equalize in all four barrels. The other thing we did is that we did rinse these barrels out a little bit. They had some pretty strong vinegar in them. So we are going to fill all four barrels and then we also put a generous amount of bleach in them that we'll let sit for a week or two and get um, sun bleached and kind of clean those barrels out and then we'll empty them and then we should be go, good to go for our first rain collection and use as needed. So this is a pretty fun family project. It took a few hours of time with the barrels and all the parts and the rain gutter that we had to install. It was maybe $150 or so, give or take, but it's certainly doable. I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully it'll be useful for you in the future.